So today, we have Batman from the Batman movie taking on MCU Daredevil. Who wins? Let's find out. So, who is stronger? Well, Bruce Wayne has honed his body into physical perfection through years of extensive and rigorous training. He's easily beat the tar out of criminals, easily restrained Penguin against the wall with just one hand, and Penguin is a very large man. Uh, and he broke a dude's arm with minimum effort. He also wears 60 pounds of armor, and it doesn't slow him down one bit. At least it doesn't seem like it does. Uh, but Matt Murdock is also in peak physical conditioning due to years of training for, uh, most of his life. Um, he has also just beat the tar out of people. He sent them flying, and he's broken bones. He's fought against bigger and stronger foes like Punisher and Kingpin and even beat them. Uh, he slammed uh, Dex's uh, head into a concrete pillar with enough force to chip the concrete. Sent Bakudo flying with enough force to smash through several cinder blocks. And he's punched a guy's knee hard enough <clears throat> to make the knee bone st stick out of his leg. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'd say they're fairly f uh, similar. Daredevil has more feats, but he's also just had more showings. But... I don't think either one of them's done something that was majorly more impressive than the other. So yeah, fairly even in terms of strength. Moving on to durability. Batman was just barely phased by punches to the face and even remained conscious after a massive explosion at point blank range sent him flying across a large room. His armor is bulletproof but he still feels the hard impacts of each bullet hitting him. Despite that, it wasn't until after several high caliber rounds that he started showing signs of discomfort and pain. Uh, he even got back up after a shotgun blast to the chest at close range. Um, but Daredevil has taken beatings from uh, Nobu and Fisk and kept on fighting, remained conscious after being hit over the head with a metal pipe, and got right back up after being sent flying into a car by a thunderclap from She-Hulk. He endured a beating that included several deep slashes, a few broken ribs, and a concussion. And he even survived a massive beating, uh, a massive building falling on top of him. Like it fell like hundreds of feet on top of him. And he survived. His suit isn't bulletproof, it's just extra padding so the nightly, nightly beatings aren't as bad, but his helmet did stop a bullet fired at 4-5 to five feet away, although he was knocked out by this. I would say that Batman is better here only because his suit is tougher. He wears legitimate armor, not a suit. Um, and now, speed. Daredevil is very fast and agile. Uh, he's consistently aimed dodge bullets even at close range. He's easily deflected arrows, kept Punisher from shooting people, and consistently taken out groups of gunmen before they could fire. He's quickly scaled up buildings and easily outmaneuvered She-Hulk. Uh, Batman, however, saved a boy from getting hit by a speeding car, and he dodged two bullets run from the front of him and the other from behind simultaneously. So speed is also very close as well. In terms of raw physicality, they're basically even. Bruce just wears a tougher armor than uh, Daredevil does. Moving on to fighting skill. Batman is a master martial artist being trained by Alfred in Judo, Karate, and Taekwondo. He's also learned fighting forms and techniques techniques from several other masters from around the globe including brazilian jiu-jitsu he is a very uh, brutal hand-to-hand -hand fighter as he views each of his enemies as the person who killed his parents despite this though he doesn't kill but that doesn't stop him uh that doesn't keep him from beating the absolute tar out of his enemies he easily and quickly put down a group of criminals matched catwoman Took out and took out dozens of Riddler's followers in the third act of the movie. Um, 
Uh, we also have to remember that this is a young Batman. He's not like Ben Affleck's Batman. He was Batman for 20 years. No, he's only been the Cape Crusader for two years. And he's already taken down Joker, Riddler, and possibly even Bane if that vial that he can if that vial that he consumed at the end of his movie is what I think it is. Um but Daredevil was trained by Stick to be a warrior in his army that chased to go to war against the hand. He was trained in several, several martial art and fighting forms, acrobatics, and he uses disadvantage as an advantage. He's routinely beating groups of thugs and henchmen single-handedly. He's beating Kingpin, Bakudo, uh, Iron Fist in their brief fight. And he always held the upper hand over Poindexter in purely hand-to-hand -hand fights. He's also matched or bested Punisher, Nobu, and Elektra, even when Elektra was the Black Sky. I'd say Daredevil has the edge here, as he has more experience as a vigilante in fighting dangerous fighters and threats, but Bruce can definitely hold his own here. Uh, and as far as versatility goes, Batman definitely has the edge here. He has a taser in his fingertips, uh, his chest plate holds a bat-shaped Glock knife, and his utility belt uh, carries handcuffs, sticky bombs, a compact nunchuck, and a grapple gun. All Daredevil carries is his two batons. He's an expert in ricocheting uh, this, these off of walls and other surfaces to hit foes from behind or the side, and this is something Batman probably hasn't faced up against. Uh, they can also be clipped together to turn into a small staff. So, if Daredevil is blind, how can he do what he does? Well, like I said earlier, he was trained to use his disadvantage as an advantage. So while he is blind, the rest of his sens senses are incredibly enhanced and have been sharpened due to the training. Specifically, his hearing as it acts as a form of echolocation. While fighting, he tracks people by listening to their heartbeats, their breathing, and or any sound that their weapon is making. This is how he pinpoints them while he's fighting them. Uh, but Bruce Wayne is a genius in uh, every field that ma matters in being Batman. Whether it's uh, business, engineering, uh, criminal psychology, you get the gist. And for a fight of this magnitude, his greatest intelligence would be in strategy and tactical analysis. As he would have that advantage over Daredevil. So, who wins? Well, Batman has the tougher armor, he's more versatile, and is smarter. Daredevil has, uh, is the better and more experienced fighter and martial artist, and he has his enhanced senses. Um, either one could win this, and it would be a phenomenal fight, but as far as their first fight goes, I am siding with Daredevil. I think this young Batman's lack of experience and lack of typical Batman gadgets like batterings and whatnot is his downfall. I think he would figure out that Daredevil is blind and is using his hearing to fight. And I think he would create a sonic based weapon before their next fight that would give him an edge. Uh, but as far as their very first encounter goes, I am siding with Daredevil after a great fight. Daredevil wins. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Leave a comment of what you think and hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos and all the great stuff. I'll catch you on the next one and have a great day. Peace.